Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we had uh, cleared our first outpost. And we were looking... Ah, nope, they are definitely not deer. We were looking for some deer. And I found a few off camera, so I literally need to find one more. I can hear some cougars around here, though. Uh, and that's not good. Every time I hear the cougars, I kind of get a little bit nervous. Uh, I mean, oi, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, I don't think so, bitch. I mean, hey, I don't mind helping somebody out, but I ain't being robbed by anybody. So anyway, we need to find some deer Fort Mercer come on there was loads of them earlier like absolutely mountains of them I think they do tend to stay away from the beaten path I know there are uh, there is an event where you can find stranded people and give them a ride back but uh, obviously that was not an event Wow, it is really dry and desolate up here. To think all of this... Ooh, all of this will probably be built over now. I cannot believe I cannot find a deer. They are one of the easiest to find. Apart from probably rabbits. They're usually everywhere. I know they don't appear at night, or very rarely appear at night, I should say. Son of a bitch. We are in the right area, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're in the right area. We've just got to hope that the RNG gods smile on us. You know... I thought, there's only one left. I'll get the final kill on camera. Because, you know, it's nice to just finish it up on camera so everyone can see it. And then, what happens? The game fucks me like this. And that horse nearly got a bullet through its cranium. I'm going to say I don't like shooting horses, but... I don't actually like shooting any animals, to be honest. Ooh. That's a cougar. That is a cougar. Especially hate shooting... Shooting cats. Because me... Well, in my opinion, there ain't no finer animal than a cat. Fetch a good price. That will fetch a good part. Very good price. Unfortunately, that's the sort of cat that's going to eat your face. Anyway, so, deer. If I was a deer... Now, that's coyotes. We don't really need to bother with the coyotes for now. God damn it. Come on, one deer. That's all I'm asking for. Just one. I don't know how they spawn. I don't know how the spawn... That's horses. Somebody is letting off some serious rounds. Alright, let's just do one more lap around. Now, the good thing about deer is they're kind of very common throughout the map. So, I guess if we don't find one here, it doesn't matter too much. This is a very... Heavy wooded area. I'm pretty sure, like, the final hunting level actually either involves hunting cougars or uh, bears. But there's an achievement for actually killing 18 bears. So, whether there is only. Oh, there you are. Come to daddy. Yes, you beauty. 
That was a good kill. And you know what? Eh, for prosperity. Or maybe not. All right, well, give me your skin. Hand over your flesh. We demand it. Is that not it? Do we need another one? Son of a... Okay, I guess we need one more. Ah, but we did kill that one. So I was wise to shoot this one as well. Excellent. Alright, well that... Uh, that was a happy coincidence. Two deer frolicking in the woods. Happy. Oh, that's not a deer, that's a buck. You bastards. It's the same fucking thing, man. Honestly. Alright, well, whatever. We'll, we'll come across another one. Now, if this was the second game, the hunting would be significantly more tedious. You know, I would sit by the campfire with you, but... I'm kind of occupied looking for some deer. You understand. It's for a challenge. The challenge is in my head, by the way. Uh, it has been given to me, passed down from some celestial being. This looks like it could have deer. So that's kind of interesting to note. Deer and uh, bucks are actually treated differently. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's flying. He's flying. Oh, cougar. Definitely want you as well. Sorry, cougar. There we go. I'm sorry, Cougar. It's just you're too valuable to leave alive. I know, it sucks. I don't make the rules. What were you eating? What, were you eat? what do deers eat? I guess they eat like bugs and rubbish, really. Master Hunter, rank two. They eat grass, I suppose, bugs, um, probably fungus. Come on, Midnight. Let's go get this uh, fella over here. Oh, hear that? There he is. Ooh. See what I mean? You hear that sound and you panic. <sighs> okay, don't know why we can't skin him. Come on, Betsy. All right, not bad. Cool. Oh, seriously. Yep. Son of a fucking bitch. Jesus Christ. We've got dogs now. Yep, there's another one coming. Have they added more to this version? Seriously. There is, he is, there he is. And we have no dead eye, which is really fucking bad. Fuck. Holy shit. All right. Oh, another one. This is really freaking bad. I'm hoping he's not going to kill us. Nope, we're actually getting our health back. That's cool. Um, You know what? We're getting on the horse. We're getting on the horse. We're not getting on the horse. We're not getting on the horse. You are so screwed with these guys. You, you kind of, in a way, you have to fight them. 
God damn, I hope that's the last one. Nope, of course it isn't. Yeah, God, there was never this many. There's never this many in the original game. It has to be something to do with the emulation, I'm sure. Right. Oof. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. We're not fucking with those guys anymore. Anyway, let's quit whilst we're ahead. Um, kill five. Whoa. Kill five wolves with your melee knife. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, maybe maybe later. Okay. Let's go back to Armadillo. And as much as I would like to quick travel to Armadillo, there are way too many cougars around here. And there, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, people that have played a lot of this game, but there was never this much wild, like this many cougars. There, there, there wasn't. Was there? Am I just misremembering it? Because this shit's lethal. Because um, from what I can remember, and again, uh, I could very well be wrong, but I thought like a cougar was this a very occasional thing that you'd come across. Uh, and it was kind of worrying. Because I do remember the, um, I remember the challenge where you actually have to kill X amount of cougars. And I'm sure I had difficulty finding enough to kill. Whereas here, they're literally everywhere. Unless it was a patch, maybe they, they patched in more. I don't know. I don't know. Now, killing five wolves with our melee weapon. Uh, from what I can actually remember, that isn't as hard as it sounds. Especially uh, if we find just like a group of a couple of wolves uh, and we kill one with a gun and then knife the other one. But I mean, that's old iron ball tactics. That's definitely a little bit rougher than I would like. But we should be able to make plenty of money with what we've got. Okay. Now we kick it on the train. You have an unpaid bounty on your head from earlier crimes. Until you pay it off and clear your name, lawmen, posses, and bounty hunters will continue to hunt you down. Train stations across the land have telegraph offices inside. Here you can wire money to the courts to clear your name. Right. And now it now it literally mentions that. I remember it. And he's putting out a bounty poster. So you can also get a pardon letter. Yeah, I remember. All right, let's go clear our name before things get really ugly. Uh, so we can give a pardon letter or pay off bounties. I didn't actually, I didn't, I didn't actually think we had a pardon letter. All right, well, let's go see Herman Moon sell our stuff and I suppose we can crack on with some things There's, oh we can do another mission for oh you you son of a bitch I should kill you for that but no murder is wrong apparently if I was in charge things would be different around here that's for sure Thanks, friend. How are you, mister? Now, I will give you... We don't need the Desert Sage for anything. So, we'll sell that. It's barely worth anything, to be honest. Leave a few. Uh, now, buck meat. Buck meat's worth a decent coin. Ah, oh, look at the antlers, though. Anything Not else I can bad. Buckskin. Cougar fang. Cougar fangs alone are worth twelve dollars. Cougar claws eighteen. Cougar meat is not worth a huge amount, but we have a lot of it. Cougar ah, cougar belts aren't actually worth 
a crazy amount of money. I mean, they're worth selling for sure, but, uh, but then I think if you go further out, like if we were selling them in Mexico, we'd get a lot more. Let's sell the wolf meat. Now, in Red Dead 2, uh, there's a lot more uses for all of this stuff. It isn't just for selling. You can use it in your own camp, um, you know. You can give it to people. You can cook it up and use it for food for yourself. So that's worth 225. So yeah, these um, these uh, money treasure map thing, the what's it, are actually paying off. Won't find anything Jewish made in this establishment, did you just say? I should shoot you for that racism. Well, it's not really racism, is it? Uh, that is not the right term. Refills horse stamina. Temporarily gives your horse more stamina. I don't know if these are like ever worth it. Oh. A golden pearl horse, fast speed. That's 750 bucks. That is so much money. I wonder if that's better than our war horse. I need to look up some stats. Right. Well, if there's a bounty to be had, let's go do the bounty. Hey, eh? What? What, you want to go? How about I make you famous? All you gotta do is agree to a duel. The thing is, though, I'll shut that mouth of yours for good. How does that work? I killed worse than you. How are you going to make me famous when you're on the floor dead? Doesn't make sense to me. Clifton Ledbetter. All right. <laughs> Let's check his face out. Oh, he's got an ugly face. I'm looking forward to shooting it. All right. I'm going to take your hat. I'm going to piss in it. Ready? There we go. Okay. I really don't understand the dueling. I really don't understand how that works at all. I'm going to have to look that up. So it is not about just marking all your shots as quick as possible. There's something else to it. I wonder if there's a tutorial here. It has to be, right? God damn it. And I bet he's not going to be here either. Right, he's not going to be here this time, is he? And neither is the bounty. Son of a bitch. Right, how do we do? Options. Strangers. How do we find... Crimes travel, yeah, collectible. It's not going to tell us now, is it? Uh, right, okay. Well, we're not going to do any more. Oh. Come. Oh, come on, man. What was that? All right, so... I push the, the trigger button and he gets his knife out and waves it at the first person he sees. You know, he doesn't get the pistol out that we've got equipped or that we should have equipped. Okay, actually the Winchester is equipped now. So why he pulled the knife out is a mystery. John, you're being a, 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 a dull man. You're being a challenge, John. Anyway. Um, now all of that has gone horrendously wrong. Let's go and see uh, the marshal. Unbelievable, John. Look. Yeah, he just got his rifle out when I pushed the trigger. So why did he get his knife out? All right, but well, it's got to be something to do with that guy. <sighs> we'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? Hey. I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? She hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. 
If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next lucky bear. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Oof. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back. Before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Oof. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! Damn, this is... This is dark. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Yeah, you see? Nothing to do with me. Fingers crossed. Because you know how these things go. One minute, you're trying to help a woman. Next minute, you're whipping out a knife and shoving it in someone's face. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the king of diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Well, again, nothing Why's changes. This sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You ugly bastard. He's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Hmm, we shall what see. Is this place we're headed? We shall weed, see. A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Lynchings, you say? Interesting. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pam. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to 
Turn out. Been in an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. <laughs> Man has worked hard in civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Oh, slow down, Hmm. That's an interesting thought-provoking conversation there. I definitely agree with uh, old John though. It's better to show people why something is wrong. Although, you know, if it's murder or something serious, then you uh, beat them to a pulp. Capital punishment and all that. But for petty things, yeah, education. I like to think is the key. Easy, dude. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. Yeah, don't worry. I'll put a round in his back. Sure, it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. You. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe she Lord. won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. What a Come on. Let's get going. What are you waiting for? Untie me, pillars. Wait. Damn it. We're in front of you, bastard. <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Well, that went about as well as can be expected. So, let's get to work. If you fools can stop me! Get in cover! Quick! Find Bonnie! Oh, that is a bad guy. I was wondering who that was. Right, okay. Kinda thought these guys were gonna fuck us over. Hardly shocking. That's okay. We can uh, sort this out like men. But we're gonna lighten up some pockets first. She's obviously not had the best time in there, cat. Right, come on. Seriously? That's better. Well, let's hope she's not already dead, because that would be rather tragic. Ooh! Nice to see they're actually killing each other. Bit of friendly fire. Remember, friendly fire isn't. Yeah, you better run. Oh, I'll shoot you in the back. That's fine. I got no qualms of shooting you guys in the back. At all. Except for you. You get shot in the throat. Alright, we better not loot any more corpses. Oh, God. Don't really have time to loot corpses. Well, maybe one or two. What do you got, boy? She's really screaming. Damn. That. Oh, that's. Oh, God. Look what they've done to her. Jesus. That's really fucked up. Right. Let's go fucking murder every single one of these guys. Righteous justice. Where the fuck are you going, prick? Right. Bonnie, run the way. Bonnie, are 
Are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, <laughs> you got another thing coming. Come on. Well, she hasn't lost her spirit. Damn, that's so fucked up. Yeah, don't worry about me, guys. That's fine. Whew. That was heavy. That was really heavy. Alright. Let's see if we can't loot a few more stiffs whilst we're here. But I don't think they're going to try that again. And at least we freed a jail cell. Mr. Deke was occupying for the last however long he's been in there. He's now fertilizer for the ground. Just about the only thing he's worth. Okay. Now, any more? One more. Give me your stuff. Give me your money. They've all got like roughly the same amount of money on them. It's like five to six dollars. They're all broke. But I guess crime doesn't pay, does it? Definitely heard a dog. There it is. Definitely heard a bark. Could have been a wolf. Anyway, with that, we're basically out of time. Unfortunately. But I believe that actually finishes off the quest for the McFarlanes, I think. Which is a shame. I always found... Um, oh, there might be one more quest, but actually, no, I think that is it. I kind of found that was a very uh, anticlimactic end. It would have been nice if there was like one more like kind of mission or like a cutscene where you could go back to the ranch and see everybody doing okay. Um, maybe there is. I'm not sure. But I don't remember so. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys and as always, till next time.